Hey what up guys, today I'm gonna continue my series of videos helping you guys uh, with some of tips I have for making uh, the best YouTube videos you can. Today we're gonna be taking a look at audio. Uh, now basically I'm just gonna cover your mic setup uh, and how you record your audio. Now as far as I go, uh, I'll show you how I do that, uh, but first I wanna cover my mic. Uh, it is Blue Yeti microphone, you can check a review of it uh, right here, uh, and uh, as I'm showing you right now, just a very video uh, of some of the features it has as you see I have it set to cardioid usually so it picks up uh, my um, voice very nicely but cancels out all the uh, possible noises around me I have a window right here so any car or bus especially driving by uh, this mic hopefully will not pick up that noise because it cancels out everything around it except for the front uh, so cardioid is the best for YouTube videos uh, as far as uh, like this uh, now also as far as the gain goes, uh, if uh, you have a lot of different noises around you, you might want to uh, turn the gain down and bring the mic closer to you, uh, that will create more of a uh, radio effect sound, uh, but you will sacrifice that uh, and uh, get no noise or as little of uh, background noise in your videos as possible, so that's good for me, I like to have this uh, kind of sort of open feel to my videos uh, that's why the gain is turned up to the fullest to pick up a bit of a echo uh, and the mic is farther away and it creates more of, more of this open uh, sort of uh, sound but if I get closer to my microphone you will see that it's kind of more like podcast or radio uh, type of sound uh, which I don't like. Now some good mics that I can recommend um, definitely the best USB condenser microphone is the Blue Yeti uh, uh, if you want to have one step bigger than that you can also go blue yeti pro uh which is also a usb microphone but it's mostly for xlr output uh that's why i'm not saying that that's the best usb mic because its main thing is the xlr in it uh it basically it has all the same capsules inside uh it's just tweaked a bit differently to produce better uh, sound, but as far as just the USB microphones, Yeti uh, is the best one by Blue. Also, uh, Audio Technica 802020, uh, it's the same price, uh, but it offers you a slimmer design, more portable, uh, of course, uh, definitely more portable. Uh, it's just not a comparison, it's half the size, it's a lot lighter. Uh, you can uh, fold the tripod and, and carry it with you really in your bag, uh, but you will sacrifice a better. Of, uh, sound quality uh, also you will not get any controls on the mic so it only records in cardio which is great but if you're doing any type of uh, like me tech video so uh, maybe an unboxing and you move your head around then that will it won't be very good because this mic right now records in cardio and if I turn my head you will see that the um, volume did drop uh, so I can set it to omnidirectional and then no matter where I am it will pick up my noise uh, equally on 802020 you will lose that feature uh, so it only records in cardio which will limit you to uh, only one type of uh, audio rec recording and that will limit you to what kind of videos you can do uh, so I don't really recommend that for everyone uh, if you know what kind of videos you're gonna be doing and stick just with that maybe that's a safe buy for you uh, but I like to have options maybe in the future something comes up uh, and I want to be able to do that uh, you also cannot control your gain on uh, 802020 you can do that digitally on your computer uh, but still nice to have that feature there's no uh, like Blue Yeti right now it offers me USB uh, or not USB but headphone jack that uh, is zero latency headphone so if you're doing podcasts and you like to listen to your voice uh, check if it's alright then you can do that with Yeti you can't with 802020 um, so uh, that's basically why I think this one is the best also I can recommend uh, also by Blue Snowball uh, it's a decent mic it's definitely not as good sounding as even 802020 20 and nothing like um, Yeti uh, but you do have uh, three different patterns it's, it's really two different patterns it's cardioid and omnidirectional and uh, the third one is it's uh, it decreases uh, the volume by 
10 decibels, I believe that's what it's uh, uh, counted in decibels. Uh, so it decreases by 10, so for playing guitars like, or something like that, but I believe it's still cardioid. So really two patterns that you can use. Uh, so it's a bit better and it's uh, cheaper, it's $100 where these two come up at $150. Uh, so if you're short for money, uh, Yeti will be, or not Yeti, but uh, Snowball will be a great purchase for you. Okay guys, so what I wanna do right now is show you how far uh, this microphone is from me. So I would be sitting uh, on this chair usually in my videos and the mic is about, I would say two, uh, to three feet away from me usually uh, but two feet is great works great for me uh, so it sits right here on this line on the table uh, so that's uh, that creates that open sort of feel that you have and you get from my videos whereas if it's closer uh, how uh, and that's how it was in my I believe in my first video it was actually very close to me because I was just trying some stuff out uh, so you see if it's a lot closer to me just one foot away uh, that it will feel like radio in fact I can get right to it right now and you will see that it feels just like radio <laughs> which I don't like that personally I I believe this is YouTube I want to keep it open keep it fresh so Mike is farther away uh, you can draw some inspiration I guess from that and as my camera focuses in here hopefully um, so that's basically it now just some more things that I wanted to mention for me personally uh, this setup works out great uh, but uh, there are a few things that you might want to add to your mic uh, depending on what videos you do so if you are doing uh, some sort of podcast video podcast uh, or some show like that um, or you would do any so sorts of voiceovers where your mic is close to you uh, or you you do musical videos where you sing uh, that's usually where um, situations where the mic will be very close to your mouth what you want to do there is add a pop filter uh, now pop filters they are made for like one size fits all uh, they're all the same basically well not all the same there are higher ends lower ends uh, but they fit all mics don't worry about that uh, so buy just any even the cheapest pop filter and that will help uh, get all of your P's and D's and uh, all of those letters out uh, uh, and I will demonstrate what I mean if I get really close to my mic and uh, do this you will see that uh, the air from my mouth hits the capsules in the mic and cr uh, uh, creates that sort of this sound uh, which really isn't pleasant so pop filter will protect you from that another thing also is if you're doing any kinds of uh, uh, screenshot videos so when you're recording your screen either it's for gameplay or you're just doing how-to videos on different applications or programs uh, whatever you want to call it depends on what platform you are but if you're recording your screen and your microphone is on the same desk as your computer um, as, uh, that's why you shouldn't use your built-in mic for those type of, uh, of videos because if you're doing that and your microphone is on the same table uh, as your computer each absolutely each especially if it's a uh, condenser microphone which most of USB mics are uh, all the uh, buttons on your keyboard your trackpad especially trackpad uh, and your mice uh, or mouse all of those clicks your microphone will pick that up through the table those vibration waves will go right into your mic uh, and that means if I tap on this table which my finger is over here my mic is way over there and if I tap my table just slightly you will hear it on the microphone that uh, that's because the vibrations go uh, goes uh, through the table uh, through the mic stand and right into microphone capsules 
Uh, so you might, in that case, want to invest in a microphone shock mount, uh, and of course that means a, as well as in the microphone stand. Um, now, for most mics, there will be universal shock mount for this Blue Yeti. Uh, it's so big because they needed to make it big to sound this great. It's so big uh, that most universal shock mounts will not fit in. Blue makes uh, they do make a, um, a shock mount just for this microphone, but it is huge. It doesn't look very good. Uh, and it is expensive, more, more than you would usually pay for a shock mount, I believe it's $70. Uh, but there is a solution for any microphone. Uh, as far as the stand goes, you can buy just a cheap kind of desk stand. It will be about this long. Uh, just sits on your desk. Uh, you connect the uh, mic shock mount to it and then put the mic on the shock mount. Uh, if you want to go a bit fancier, you can also buy a uh, microphone arm. So you basically just put it in uh, to your table and then you can move it around uh, just like a um, you know monitor arm or whatever arm, uh, TV arm. You can of course you know how it works the concept of it you can just move it around get it out the way when you don't need it and then bring it out uh, bring it up uh, when you do need to record a video uh, so that's basically it pretty much what you will need in that area hopefully you can uh, you learned a lot from this video uh, my next video probably will be about uh, camera and uh, just how to shoot your videos and then probably after that will be lighting just to give you a heads up on that. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.